Welcome to Professor 3 Mac. In this video, I'm going to go through a subscriber's model and they are trying to replicate the tutorial which I presented some time ago. The link is on the top and also displayed on the screen. So what I did was it was a sub C pipeline under the C and it was laid on the top of the soil where soil or seabed moves down so half of it moved down and then you have some kind of upheaval buckling due to the imperfection so if you look at the assembly it looks something like this there was a seabed there was a pipeline half of the seabed will move downwards in y direction and then you will have temperature etc loading which will cause upheaval buckling due to this the imperfection which will be caused by the seabed motion so let's see what are the errors i'm not going to check everything you can check my video which gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial just to see what is the error which the user is getting so i will submit so now it's submitted then i go to a monitor and you can see there are some error messages and the job has been stopped so the, it says the rigid bodies with reference nodes contained in this node has no mass associated with it since it's explicit dynamic analysis, so you need to give density as a material property to compute the inertia term. However, if you have a rigid body, which is analytical rigid in this case, then you have to associate the mass with this thing. So the best or crude way of doing it is if you go if you go to the property module, and then you say assign, sorry, special. So you say so you go to the property module, say special, and then inertia. And then you press manager so you see you don't have any inertia terms here you press click and i will bring the other part in which has two reference points which are giving the problem so now if i give create then you can see there is an option for point mass which is missing for the reference point so i will just create this reference point here select this reference point press done and now i can give the density of whatever you want in this case it's not very important because this thing is all always not moving so it's almost fake so it doesn't matter so i'm going to use a diagonal term as one for the inertia rotary of inertia and for the magnitude of the point mass i'm using one value you can use any other value and see what is the difference again you can go back to your abacus manual and see what these values really refer to but since there is no rigid body, rigid body motion here for the case of this thing this seabed therefore it should be fine I press OK and I think there is no other reference point here. So now if I go back here, job, and then if I submit again, and let's see if it still gives some error. So input file processing has started, which is completed, and now you see your analysis is running without any problems. So now it will run and it will give you the similar results if everything is defined correctly as I have shown in my tutorial before. So hope this helps. Have a, have a good time. Any other question, get back to me. All the best.